If you're new, hi, I'm Susan. In today's video, we are going to be creating some neutral colored and really cute Valentine decorations. For our first project, I'm going to be using this terracotta pot that I picked up from Ikea and white paint and black paint. So to start off, we are going to paint the whole piece uh, with the white paint. And then I sanded it with 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out the paint. And the water just helps keep uh, the dust down and it gives it a smoother finish. So now using the black, um, and of course you can use pink or red, whichever color you decorate with for Valentine's. Um, I'm just gonna be painting an XOXO on the pot. And paint pens would work great. Um, that would make it really easy. So if you don't like writing with a paintbrush, um, paint pens would work. And this is how it turned out. Just gonna add this wood piece down in the bottom to raise my pot. And this plant I also picked up uh, from Ikea. Super cute and super easy. So for our second project, I'm gonna be using this framed sign that says, together is our favorite place to be. And I think this came from Dollar General and white paint. Okay, so we're just gonna paint the whole sign and the frame white. And you could pick something like this up from dollar stores or thrift stores, and they are very inexpensive. So after one coat, uh, you could still see the lettering. So I probably should have sanded it before I started painting. And even after two coats, you could still see it just a little bit. So for the third coat, I used a sponge and just sponge painted across it to give it a texture so that you wouldn't see the indentions of the words. And I also sponge painted the frame. Once the paint was completely dry, I used lightweight spackling. And I've never used this before. I have used joint compound in projects, but not the spackling. And it kind of feels like a marshmallow. <laughs> and then when I went to put it onto the board, it didn't stick. It just came like right back up. <laughs> So I wasn't even sure if it was going to work, but then I tried like a small amount and just kind of smeared it onto the board and that seemed to work. So I just went with that. So then I just free handed a heart. And then I just added uh, more spackling on top of the first layer that I put down to build it up to give it a little more texture. So then I just sprayed a little bit of water onto my finger uh, to smooth it out just a bit. I, I just love the simplicity of this. It turned out so cute, I love it. Our next project is this cute little Greek goddess that I picked up at TJ Maxx. And she kind of has this shiny, like iridescent pearl-like surface with this very fake looking plant. So I thought we could make her just a little bit cuter. So I attempted to pull out the greenery, but it did not come out. So I ended up just pulling it out piece by piece. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. It has this hard surface with little rocks on the top. So I just took wire cutters and pulled out these little pieces. And I took some Waverly chalk paint and Snow White and painted the whole piece. And I picked up these cute little flowers from Ikea. 
and I took some wire cutters and cut off the flowers and thought they would be really pretty like this but then I thought they needed to be a little bit shorter so I ended up snipping all of the pieces off separately and then just hot gluing them onto the rocks. And this is how it turned out. Our next project, we're going to be using this wood heart flower napkins and Mod Podge. And of course, something to apply the Mod Podge with. So first we're going to be pulling the backing off of our napkins and always double check because these had two pieces to peel off and it will not work if you don't get all of the backing off. Ask me how I know. <laughs> too many times. And now we are going to apply the Mod Podge. Add our napkin on top and press it down. So now we're just going to trim around the edges and try to cut as close to the heart as possible. And now I'm just taking this blade and cutting in between the little slats of the heart. Now to smooth out the edges, I'm just going to use this sanding block. And you could leave it like this, but I wanted it to look very old and worn. So I took my sanding block and just sand it over the whole piece and <laughs> And sometimes I think I should just stop and then I just keep going. But I did like how this ended up. I mixed some black paint uh, with a little bit of water and added that to the heart. Took a paper towel and then just removed the excess uh, watery paint. And then I went back over the whole piece, adding white paint and then rubbing it in with the paper towel. And last I added white paint and mixed it with baking soda and just applied it in random spots on the heart uh, just to give it a little bit of texture. And this is how it turned out. Mm -hmm. 
So for our next project, I have this sign that I picked up from Hobby Lobby that says, happy are they who take life day by day, complain very little, and are thankful for the little things in life. I'm going to be using this uh, Waverly chalk paint in sandstone. And this time I remembered to sand off the writing. Okay, so I'm just gonna be adding paint to the center of the frame. So I just left kind of a border around the paint. And then that way I didn't have to worry about getting paint on the frame. Okay, so now while that dries, we're going to move on to the next step. So I'm just taking two pieces of wire, this bottle, and some ribbon that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So we're gonna use the bottle to shape our wire and just uh, wrap it around the bottle. And of course it's a Valentine project, so we're gonna be making hearts. So once you have your basic shape, you can adjust it a bit and get it into the heart shape that you like. So next, I'm um, tying a piece of this material at the top of the heart. Trimming up the ends. And then I made two of these hearts. Okay, so next I have a short piece of the material and a long piece of the material. And I'm just gonna use my glue gun and attach the bottom to make a loop. And I did the same thing with the longer piece. Okay, so then I attached my little hearts uh, with a little bit of hot glue. And now we are going to attach them to the frame with more hot glue. And here's how this turned out. I think it's adorable. I love it. Okay, so I made another pot, but this time I added chalk paint in gray. Uh, this one is called steel and black, and this one is called ink. And I have used baking soda in previous paint projects before, but this time I decided to use sand. So I'm gonna start with the base. So first we're going to mix our gray color and add our sand, mix it up. And then I thought it needed more sand, so I added a little more. And this is how it turned out. It's pretty thick. So I'm just gonna apply it with a sponge. And then next I'm using black paint with sand and added a little bit of my gray and also added a little bit of white and then sponge painted that over the whole piece. And it turned out like this. And the trick to this is layering. So I did add more black paint and then sponge painted more gray on the top of that. And then also added more white. And then I did the same technique to the pot. And here's how it turned out. 
I love how everything turned out. I don't really decorate a lot for Valentine's, but I just wanted subtle touches throughout the house. I really wanted my Valentine pieces to be uh, neutral colors. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.